511 Tactical's Rush series of packs come in three sizes. We have the 12, the 24, and the 72. We break these numbers apart based upon the amount of time for deployment. So a 72 would be a three day pack, a 12 would be a day pack, and a 24, you know, a full day. Um, the packs are great for everything from deployment and military use to everyday, uh, to everyday carrying around bags. Uh, we've built a lot of features into these bags. These were originally introduced, some of them, in uh, 2007. And since then, we've come back and refreshed the line with some upgrades. So I'm just going to walk you through the pack and kind of show you an overview. Uh, up at the top, we have our carry handle. Grab it and go. We have our fl uh, fleece lined sunglass pocket. Great pocket to keep your sunglasses right on top with quick access. You don't have to worry about the lenses getting scratched or if you put in a smartphone in there, you don't have to worry about your lens getting scratched. It's also on top so it doesn't get crushed by the weight of what you have in the pack. Okay, up at the top we also have our Rush yoke system. The yoke system really helps disperse the weight. Some of the changes we've made are that we've increased the uh, pad thickness because we found that guys are actually using heavier loads and we've also increased the width help disperse the weight even further. Something else we've done, based upon end user feedback and wear, is that we've moved these stress seams to the outside versus before it used to be right in the center. Again, this helps reinforce the pack and make it, makes it stronger for us out in the field. On the front, we have our adjustable sternum straps. The sternum straps have C-clips, so they just clip off, and then you move them up or down for the height for a custom fit. We've moved the buckle hardware up on top of the pad. This gives us an extra three inches of adjustability for smaller framed individuals. It also gives you a little more comfort by having that buckle on top of the pad and it also helps keep it a little bit quieter as well. On the back, you have four zones of padding. One, two, three, four. It gives you uh, venting vertically and horizontally. And we also have our tacky rubber to help hold the pack in place. We also have drain holes on the bottom and on the bottom of the pack as well. We've also added lashing strap um, places where if you want to attach a bedroll or a sleeping bag, you can now do that as well. The uh, 72 comes with waist straps. The waist straps also have web platform on here. It's a great place to attach an additional pouch to customize it for your mission. Uh, things like a GPS or a cell phone uh, pouch would go perfect right here. If you don't want to use the waist straps, these can be rolled up and tucked out of way. That'll give you a little more lumbar support as well, so you have that option. Up at the top is where we would attach or insert our hydration bladder. This will take a full-size hydration bladder. And then inside of here we have our back plate, our 72 actually includes an aluminum rod that you can adjust to your back for a custom fit. This is removable if you do not want it in here, but this gives you extra stability and a customized fit. It's something you typically see only on a technical pack. You can run your hydration valve through the top and then out through either of the ports, and the ports are either on the left side or on the right side. That valve can now run down the channels and help be held in place by the extra strap at the top. One of the other improvements we've made is that we've added an extra row of web platform on both the left and the right side. What this allows us to do is to integrate with our Rush tiered system. What this allows us to do is to quickly release our outer pack. So just by hitting the buckles, we can now separate. And now I have my other bag for moving up for walking around town. On the front of the bag, you notice that we have web platform on all three sides. Again, I can customize this to meet the needs of the mission. We also have a large piece of Velcro here for a Velcro name tape and a three by three patch uh, for your, uh, your flag patch or a morale patch. At the bottom, we've reduced the size of the logo so it now does not interrupt the web platform, allowing me to ad attach uh, pouches here all the way to the bottom. We've also modified the rain flap. Uh, we now have a traditional rain flap before they met in the middle. This now allows you to uh, keep the, the rain out and the water out and helps protect uh, your contents. On the outside of the pack, we have what's called the shove it pocket here and here. I simply undo the compression strap at the top to gain access. We've added the C-clip 
So that way if I put something in here, it doesn't just drop out. It helps hold this in place without spilling my contents. We also have compression straps at the bottom. On both the left and the right side of the bag, we have large pockets. These will take a full two liter water bottle. It goes all the way to the bottom. And there's additional organizing pockets on the inside. On the outside of the bag is our admin pocket. One of the things we've done is on all of our zipper pulls on the outside, we've done pull tabs. The benefit of a pull tab is that it allows you to pass one through the other and lock this zipper pull in place. So if you're on a run, you don't have to worry about your contents opening up and accidentally spilling out. I can then open this up and I have a ton of organization on the inside. This pocket is a mesh pocket which allows me to see what's inside. We have another zipper pocket below which goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. There's keychain fobs, another pocket, pockets with retention straps, great place for external hard drives or CD players, smartphones, business cards, uh, pens and highlighters. And then we have two more shove-it pockets. These go all the way to the bottom, left and the right side, with a retention strap, and then a mesh organizing pocket at the top. I open up the main compartment of the bag, you see that we have a ton of organization. First, the pocket at the top is designed for access either from the top or I can get to the same pocket from the bottom. So if I just want to open this up and get into it real quick from here, I have that option. Opening the pocket the rest of the way, you'll see that I have a mesh pocket here at the top. A large shove-it pocket where I can put in first aid or wet items that I want to keep separate from the rest of my content. Another zipper pocket at the bottom. And then the mesh pockets here at the top. So this is the 511 Tactical Rush 72. We are offering this in sandstone, black, multicam, taco D, flat dark earth, and in select colors we also have responder red. 511 Tactical uh, Rush series of packs.